the betting, uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need to uh, I need to get studying again to to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's uh, it's really it's uh, in my opinion one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. Receipts on the card. It's a lucky last race on Monday, the 14th of February. Hollywood bets Gravel Poly Track meeting. Hollywood bets Bright Future MR67 handicap. And the lucky last is set to be run over the 2,000 meter trip. And eight race will go off at half past four on this Monday afternoon. Horse number 12, Eventador. Now, he didn't beat the strongest of maiden fields. Protea Pride has come through to win from that form line. He's an improving horse. He's only had four starts to date. He does have a wide draw to contend with. So that is the negative. But he's on a mark of 71. And personally, I feel that he's going to be a lot better than that mark of 71. He steps up in trip by 400 meters, which I think is going to suit him ideally. Last time out, he did win from a bad draw. But for me, it's either... I think the way that you've got to play the last race is it's either Eventador or you possibly include quite a few horses. Do you see the same way it is or do you think Eventador is really vulnerable and other horses have to be respected? No, you started off this preview saying the lucky last and I always used to think it's the lucky last as well but you've been witness that it hasn't been the lucky last for me at recent <laughs> meetings, Rayo. We're not going to go there with that but I'm going to go 10-5, 1 and 2. Uh, yeah, this horse, Eventador, I saw him when he's made, and yes, he won well, and he, you know that form line has seen Procho Pride, as you mentioned, but it's always tough out the maidens, the draw is against him, we know that he stays, we'll see how good he is out the maidens, he's a horse that I know the stable think a bit of, but against this type of feel from that draw, I'm going to take my chance and leave him out completely, yeah. I'm going to go 10-5, 1 and 2, Living Waters, I think we'll be given a nice patient ride, Sean Villas won on him, uh, he'll no doubt, wherever position, be running on at the dent from his last start. Etiquette is won from his penultimate start. Fist of Fire is won. Number five, Deep Global, is my roughie in the race. I think with a nice low weight of 52.5 kgs, he'll make his presence felt. Horse number one, Galabia, the run of the race from draw one, a horse that runs well up handy. No stamina doubts with him. The type of horse, I think, coming to the straight could be the one to overall. And then we all know that number two, just for the penny, is always going to get a mention from all the presenters because of his rating drop. He's now down to a 63 as well. When he's going to get it right, well, someone, someday, somewhere, is going to back him on the right day. Number two, just for the penny. And if he has to win, well, he'll be part of my exotics. Uh, number two, just for the penny. So I'm going to go 10, 5, 1, and 2. I must admit that... This type of field, if I'm running in the exotics and the question that you ask me, will I be confident of surviving with those four horses? The answer will be no. One horse that I think you didn't mention is the four, the appeal. Now, he's super consistent. Three seconds from his 14 starts on the poly track. Warren Kennedy rides 59 and a half on his back. He's on a mark of 66, so he is slowly dropping in the ratings. What do you make of his chances? Because he's never too far off the action. Well, we've seen it recently here in KZN. Horses that haven't won for many, many days come through to win. This horse hasn't won for 575 days. His form's in and out, but he's got the, the leading jockey in the country in Warren Kennedy. And I think, you know, now it's just a downhill uh, cruise mode for Warren. He's well clear in that jockey championship by 30 ahead of Samanga Kamala. Justin Snape's over 2 million ahead of Paul Peter. I think those two look to be their overwhelming favourites to win their respective titles. But number four, the appeal. You know, the, the thing that worries me is that he can run well, but he can also run bad. It's just the inconsistency of his form and the fact that he hasn't won for some time. But again, you know, if I look past the top four runners that I've gone with 10, 5, 1 and 2, then I would go with the field. Just one more horse that I want to give to the public out there is the horse number 7, Rocky Coast. He's a horse that just seems to land, a, land the knockout blow at times when you least expect it. He's an in and out horse. He has won over the course and distance, so the 2,000 meter trip is no concern for, for him. So possibly include Rocky Coast, but as you heard from these, it does look to be a tricky race to end the meeting. 
Eventor Doi is a horse that is on the up, but the draw is a negative, of course. Stepping over the 2000 meter trip, first time out the maidens is never easy. So, possibly race eight, a race that you need to go wide in the exotics, possibly include a few in the place accumulator. And I'm sure you could be standing in the queue for a nice result. It's Donovan Everett from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Readers in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pool Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year.